Hello and happy Monday. Welcome back once again to the RPM Garage YouTube channel and welcome back to another episode of Review Mondays. If you saw last week's episode, then you'll know we've decided to do a bit of a different format for the Review Mondays episodes. If you have seen that video, congratulations. It was a great video to film and we have really enjoyed making it. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it above. Definitely go check it out. This week we have two very, very cool imports that have a combined total of over a thousand horsepower, so you definitely need to stick around and watch every single second of this video because they sound amazing, they look amazing, and they have some crazy modifications under their hood. Before we dive into this video though, I have to ask each and every single one of you to take a second right now to subscribe to the channel, share this video with a friend, and as always, hit the like button and leave us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. If there are any cars from this video that you'd like to see again on the channel or any cars in our inventory that you want to see on the channel in the future, be sure to comment below and we'll try to make that happen as well. With that said then, let's dive in. Our first car for the video is a 2020 Toyota GR Supra 3.0. Now I love the Toyota Supra, the Mark V, for a lot of reasons. I think it is a very well done successor to the Mark IV Supra, which is, as you probably know, a fan favorite of a lot of the car community. Now from the factory, this car produces 335 horsepower and 365 pound-feet of torque but this is by far not a factory car. This car is producing over 600 horsepower and over 500 pound-feet of torque. Now, altogether, that means that this car is absolutely wild to drive, and as you can probably imagine, there are a lot of upgrades that have been done to this car to make that possible. Some of these upgrades include an ECU Tech Tune, a Titan Motorsports Meth Injection Kit, an EOS Port Injection with 1050 cc id injectors a titan motorsports catalyst downpipe an arma speed cold air intake an ftp charge pipe and an awesome titanium exhaust now this is a titanium exhaust by tome and as you'll hear later on in the video it produces one of the coolest sounds i've ever heard out of any car in my life now all of this power is sent from the engine through an eight speed automatic transmission to the rear wheels, which means that you can have a ton of fun behind the wheel of this car. Even more so when you play with some of Toyota's settings for this car, you have the ability to turn on and off traction control and to turn on and off sport mode. And within sport mode, you have several options that you can play with to adjust your driving settings to fit your driving the best. Now, as you probably guessed from the video you just watched, this is by far not a stock Supra in other places as well, namely cosmetically. If you want to hear more about a stock Supra, we do have a review Monday up on our white 2020 Toyota Supra GR 3.0 Premium, so you should definitely go check that out. I will link that right now for your viewing pleasure. One of the biggest things you may or may not have noticed attached to this car is the APR GTC 300 carbon fiber spoiler, but while it is distracting, it is not the only upgrade that's been done to the exterior. In addition, this car has also had H&R lowering springs put on it, which means that it has much tighter fitment and stiffer suspension, which is perfect for a car like that because handling is always a huge priority for high-powered sports cars such as this one. This car also has carbon fiber wrapped door vents and carbon fiber fiber mirror caps, which once again, just add to the overall aggressiveness and the appearance of this car. Although it doesn't really do much in terms of functionality, it does look absolutely insane on this amazing car. So you must be asking yourself then with all of these upgrades and all of these modifications, how much does this car cost? And the answer is this with only 18,900 miles on this car and over 600 horsepower being produced 
in the engine bay. This car is for sale for $61,991, and there are not many cars at all that offer this kind of performance at this price. So it is definitely a car I think you should consider adding to your Christmas list right now. The second car in this video is a 2013 Subaru Impreza WRX STI, and while that is a complete mouthful of a name, it is definitely at least somewhat justified. From the factory, these cars produce 305 horsepower and 290 pound-feet of torque, and because they're essentially street drivable rally cars, all of that power is sent to all four wheels, which means that this car is insanely quick off the line and even quicker through corners. However, I'm not here to talk about a stock Subaru Impreza WRX STI Limited. I'm here to talk about this specific one. Namely, I'm here to talk about the 400 plus horsepower that's being produced under the hood, largely in part due to the big turbo kit that's been added onto this already insane engine. With the additional supporting mods, this car, like I said, is producing well over 400 horsepower as well as an absolutely nuts noise that you're gonna have to stick around to listen to because it is definitely fitting of the styling and the heritage of this amazing car. However, in addition to the big turbo kit, this car has also received a Cobb cold air intake and a tune as well as a Process West top mount intercooler and an aftermarket quad tip exhaust and an aftermarket downpipe. Now, there are a ton of other upgrades that have been done to this car that I am not listing, but you can definitely check out those details on our website because the list of upgrades that have been done to this car, as well as the Supra we just talked about, are very, very long. Now, though this may not be the most important question on your mind, you probably are asking yourself what the value for money is on this car because at the end of the day, if you do buy this car, you end up with over 400 horsepower and an engine with only 52,000 miles on it, which is remarkably great for a car that is coming up on nine years old. The price tag, though, is $28,991, which is awesome given that this is, at the end of the day, a 400 horsepower plus car with a six-speed manual transmission, four-wheel drive, and so many other cool modifications, and you get all of the heritage of the Subaru Impreza and the Subaru WRX. That, in my mind, is absolutely unparalleled, and it is one of the main reasons that I think you definitely need to come in and check this car out today. Sadly, that Subaru does bring us to the end of the video, but the question must be asked. Of those two cars, which one would you park in your garage? Were I given the opportunity to make that decision, I would have an insanely tough time because both offer a lot of power for not a lot of money, and both are very cool in their own unique and respective ways. That said, I can't wait to read your answers below. You should definitely comment which one you'd choose. And you should also comment which cars you'd like to see in future videos because we are totally happy to film more cars in the future. With that said then, thank you guys so much for taking the time today to watch this video. Be sure to like, share, and as always, 
subscribe to the channel. It means a ton to myself and to everyone at the RPM Garage team. And while you're at it, be sure to check out our Instagram, our TikTok, our Facebook, and our inventory. All of those are linked below, and you definitely need to go check those out. Lastly, we do have merchandise. I didn't mention it last week because I was still trying to figure out how the new format of video was going to work, but you should definitely go check it out. It should be online very, very soon, and it's definitely worth getting yourself some. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will catch you in the next one.